Hi guys, it's Lenikia. So I am coming to you with my, um, oh, first of all, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, I'm coming to you with um, a video just about my experience with Next Rep. Um, I told you guys I applied a while ago and I want you to, I just want to give you an update on it. So this is my Next Rep update. I want to thank all of the subscribers who have been with the channel for um, a, a long time now. Um, and then I want to thank everyone who's a new subscriber. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe. Um, thank you to everyone who might not, who might not have subscribed, but you um, drop in and watch a few videos um, whenever you see it on your, um, I guess, YouTube um, subscriptions or not subscriptions, but you know, on the side. Anywho, um, so I applied for Next Rep um, months ago, like at the beginning. I I want to say it was like beginning of the year maybe it might not even in, even been at the beginning of the year but anyways it was a long time ago so i applied for next rep um they offered me a position i did not want that position because it was a pay by minute position minute position and i was not looking for that because i had had a bad experience um with the whole not being paid um with, with another company and I, I just didn't want that like because I don't want where if you're not on the phone it was a talk top pay by talk time or whatever if you're not on the phone then you're not getting paid so that's why I declined the position and it was um um had to do with this company that I wasn't really looking to work I wasn't I didn't want that position or whatever so they sent me they were like well we're gonna let you think about it I told them I declined the offer but she said oh we're gonna let you think about it we're gonna send you emails um, and then, you know, and you could just let us know if you want to get in any of those training classes or everything. And I, I let her know on the phone that probably not because, um, I just, I wasn't, I, that's not what I wanted. Um, that's not what I was wanting. I was wanting something that was more guaranteed hourly pay. That's what I was looking for. But anyway, so months later, um, go by and I, I just, I'm applying for, um, jobs again. So I said, oh, let me apply for next rep again. Um, so I applied for next rep again. Um, and this time I used a different email. I did use a different email just because I was, I didn't know if they were hire me because I had turned down the position before. And I, I know that with some companies, if you turn down a position and you apply with the same email, then more than likely they won't contact you again. So I was like, well, let me apply, um, using a different email. So I applied and, um, I got the phone. Okay. So I applied and I was supposed to have an interview they missed my interview. Um, so then, well, first of all, I applied and it took, there were no interviews available. Um, and then they told me, so I sent them an email and I said, Hey, you guys told me to schedule an interview, but there are none available like for months. So they said, Oh, um, just keep checking, keep checking and something should pop up. So something finally did pop up, pop up and it was month, about a month away. So I went ahead and scheduled the interview and that was for December the 3rd. So I finally had um, that interview with them. And then um, I want to say I, the, they didn't call me that, that day. They didn't call me. They were supposed to call and they didn't do it. And so I hit them back up again. Um, and so they apologized and everything for it. And I might be getting the time. I think. This was before my, okay, so before my December 3rd interview, I was supposed to have an interview and they never hit me up for the interview. So then I tell them about that and they're like, oh, just, um, we're sorry about that. Here's the link so you can apply again. So when I try to apply again, there were no interviews. So then they tell me, oh, we'll keep looking. And so that's how I got the December 3rd interview. So my first interview, they didn't even, um, call me because they're supposed to call you and they didn't call so i'm waiting i thought well maybe i gave them the wrong number so i'm hitting up them up via email and all of that trying to find out what's going on so then um finally i think a few days later they finally hit me back and that's how i got the december 3rd interview so i go through my december 3rd interview and i had made it clear that i did not want to do outbound and so when I'm speaking to the woman, she was a lovely woman. I can't remember her name, but she was really nice. She, um, she let me know that, um, that there was a position available that was not outbound. Um, it was pay, it was pay, hourly pay, not pay by minute. But, um, y'all, when she was telling me about the position and everything, oh, it was, it was all cool. It was, 
she wasn't excited. She wasn't like, she was just monotone, just talking to me about it and everything. And I said, okay. Um, cause that's how we did our interview. And so I said, okay, um, well, I'm looking for something that's hourly pay and everything. And so the can she told me what the campaign was. And I was like, well, that's more of what I'm looking for because I can't work nights because I have, y'all know I work millennial services at night and I'm not looking to give up that job. And on the weekends, and sometimes during the week, I work my up call, and then I want to do, I wanted to start doing, I knew that in the future, I would be doing YouTube videos, and I know, y'all know, I watch, the, I do the reviews, and I do the reviews um, on TV shows, but I only have Hulu, so that means I have to wait for the TV show to come out, so my reviews probably won't drop the night of the TV show, it'll be the next morning, so I know in the morning times, I'll be busy doing my reviews, so I was looking for a job that was in the morning, but it it freed up but it didn't hold it didn't put me down to like i was having to work six hours if that makes if that makes sense so i wanted a morning job that i could you know i could still do my hulu in the morning but i could work this job take a little break and then do my millennial services well so she had a campaign that was great for me and i was like okay what's the hourly pay and i think she told me the hourly pay was like 10 or 11 dollars something like that which i was like okay it, it's it's not as much it, it i think it was ten dollars i was like it's not as much as i but i'll take I, you know i could t i could work with that i can work with that and so then um um we were talking and and she found out i had experience with outbound and i said yeah i do but on the other cam like when i do up call i have to do a like what because i work during the day i do a lot of outbound um, whenever I work for them during the day. That's why most of the time, if I want extra money, I work for Upcall on the weekends because I don't have to do the outbound. Um, but it's like every time a company finds out that you have outbound experience, especially when you have business to business outbound experience, they do want to push that towards you, even if you've already made it clear that that's not what you're really looking for. You know, you're not really looking to do that. Um, so she started she got really excited and she started telling me about this campaign that was outbound it was and it was paper um it was talk time minute and i was like i'm not looking for that because one i don't want to i you know i want guarantee i want to know how much my check is going to be i don't want it based off hope because it was inbound so i don't want to base it off of hopefully i'll get calls these this whole hour and you know if i'm having to do rap time and i'm not on the phone but i'm having to do a little bit of rap time i'm not getting paid for that and i don't so i don't want a campaign that i have to base that off of i don't want i don't want to do that is what i was pretty much telling her and i was like so i feel like that other campaign that's hourly pay and everything and it's not like sales it's just doing customer service it's not sales that's um better for me um, because sometimes I know a campaign, it might be inbound, but sometimes inbound isn't true. It's still hard selling. Um, it's still hard selling and all of that. So that's pretty much what I was saying, what was happening. And so she was like, okay, well, we'll go ahead and put you in this campaign. It starts on the 17th. We'll send you out your paperwork. So I do the paperwork and everything is going fine. They tell me about the background check. I do the $25 for the background check. Everything is going fine. And they say, okay, you're going to hear from us the day before, um, about your information. So they sent me the background check again. I said, okay, maybe I'm missing some information. So I ended up doing the background check, like not background check, excuse me, like the, um, the forms you have to fill out when you get hired for our company. I ended up having to do those like four times. And I was like, wow, why am I having to do this so much? And I even got like, cause at first I was doing it on my phone and then I stopped and I was like, well, let me do it on the computer because obviously I'm, I must be doing something. Something's going on because they keep sending this back to me. And so I sent it again, sent it off and everything. And the campaign was coming up. And so then I got an email that says, okay, you're, um, you're getting your certificate for this particular campaign. And it was a, di it was completely different campaign. It had completely different hours. And um, and I said, no, like, I can't, I can't do that campaign. Although I, I would have loved to do it because it was a chat campaign and I would have loved to do that. I was like, no, I can't do it because I work at night and I'm not giving up this job 
for like I, w I would rather have the two companies because you know I always say never have just one company like when you're working from home you cannot do that you need to have two companies that you're working for because a campaign could end um, and then you need to have that other source of income if you don't already have another source of income you know what I'm saying so I said no I can't do I can't do that and they were like oh I'm so sorry um, we sent you the wrong campaign or whatever and I was like so I was thinking in my mind oh okay cool then everything's cool they're gonna you're gonna send me the right one so they sent me another one and it was still the wrong campaign and everything in the hours and so I sent them an email back and I said hey I made it clear that I do not work, I cannot work nights. Like if I have to work them on the weekends, that's fine. If I have to work them after I get off from millennial uh, services, that's cool. But the nights that the time that you're scheduling me for takes my shift that I'm already working for millennial services. So I'm not able to do this. Also, I declined, like this campaign is not a campaign that I ever wanted to do. This was offered to me when I first applied and I declined that campaign. And they were, um, so I never heard back from them. So I was emailing them. Um, I, I didn't know where to call, but I was emailing them every, I think every other day or something, just like, hey, what's going on? Because the 17th by this time has came and went. And then um they sent me out an email about uh, being a contractor for 2019 and so i replied back to that email like hey y'all were supposed to get me in this campaign and i never heard back from y'all but i went ahead and filled filled out the contract and everything so then this um past uh i think week this past week actually they sent me an email um or was it friday it was one of these days they sent me an email saying hey um your certificate uh, training is going to start on this day and it was the campaign that I had turned down in the first place and I was like listen so I sent them an email and they were sending it to my old email and I told them I said listen this is you're sending the information to the incorrect email because one I don't really use that email hardly anymore unless it's for YouTube so when it filters it was filtering to a box that I was never going in I just happened to go into that box so I sent I told them I was like um hey don't send anything to that email I'm on this email now so and that's I that's the email I applied for and that's the email I'm using and so then um and I said and I'm and I've already like told you guys I can't work nights like I, I was like I've made both times that I interviewed I made it very clear that I would not work nights because I work at night and so I'm not able to do any type of training at night I'm not able to work a position at night and um and I don't want to make talk time pay like pay per minute I, I'm 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 not looking for a campaign that's that's like that. I want hourly pay. And so I never heard back from them. Um, yes, okay, yes, I did. I did hear, hear, no, I did not hear back from them on that. So I sent another email and um, I emailed the person that I had spoken to early and I said, hey, this is what's going on. I said, y'all promised me that I would have this position um, and y'all said I was supposed to start on 17. It's been past the 17. I've sent many emails y'all are emailing the wrong sending emails to the wrong email address and everything and sh so they hit me back and they were like oh i'm so sorry we have you down for this campaign starting at this time and still at night even though i just sent the email to them saying i cannot work nights again so i just emailed them back and i said listen um i can't work nights like that's just it and I, i'm I, I can't work nights I'm not looking for um, hard sales because I don't know. I just get, you know, if you ask most people that you get burned out on doing outbound calls or hard sell calls, like when you have to do it on one job and then even though millennial services isn't, it's, it, it's more like the campaign I'm on is like insurance and transfers. It's still more like the, the, because we're not in the open enrollment season it's starting to become more of an outbound campaign so i don't want three jobs where even though with next rep it was inbound but it was still hard sales i don't want like my mind doesn't want i want to just do customer service where i can answer these questions and send them on their way like i don't mind doing that all day long um so 
I sent them an email back and just explained everything. And I was like, but you know, if you don't have that type of campaign that I'm looking for, um, the campaign that you were supposed to put me in, in the first place, then, um, then I'm, I'm okay. Like you then just refund me my $25 and we'll just call this a day. And so I got an email back and they refunded me the $25. Um, that was Friday, this past Friday, yesterday, they refunded, they did a refund, um, for the $25. So I'll know if I got it or not, because I sent the, the information back to them late. But, um, so yeah, that's my experience with next rep. Um, would I recommend, um, the company? I don't know. Um, I mean, I didn't have, like, my experience with them, I would, I guess I wouldn't want anyone else to go through that. I hope that's not their, how they are. I hope that's not how they are um, and everything, but I don't know. But so when you're, when you're doing, when you're doing, when you're doing the interviews with all these companies, you really just have to stand your ground and tell them, um, like if you're not willing to work inbound, I mean, excuse me, if you're not willing to do like sales or talk per minute, if you're not willing to, um, if you can't work nights and all that, you really have to stand your ground because I felt like they were pushing me into a campaign that they needed to hire for over what I was clearly telling them, it, which is I can't work that campaign. Like I understand you might need people on it, but I'm not the person that's going to be able to do that for you because it doesn't like it does. It didn't work with my schedule at all, but I felt like they were just like pushing that on me. Um, and then I didn't like the fact that the campaign I was supposed to be on came and went and I got no feedback. It was like, I no feedback whatsoever from, you know, what was going on or anything. So that's my experience with them. Um, if you if you still want to apply um to them go ahead and you because maybe you have a different experience i can only give tell you you know what my what i went through when i applied with them and 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 getting um trying to get hired on with them i can only tell you um you know what i went through but um you know i was just trying to make some <laughs> extra money you know because i'm trying to travel a little bit more this year but so yeah i'm just gonna stick with my two jobs i have now and just pick up some extra hours there um because i do like the companies i'm really happy with those two companies so yep um you guys tell me what you think i hope you have a great rest of the weekend i will see you guys tomorrow for my um my god you know i like to gossip so my um entertainment gossip um, little vlog thing, vlog thing that, um, I'm going to start doing on Sunday. So, all right, guys, have a great weekend. Be safe, be blessed.